Hey everyone, it is late at night and I'm Norman. A bit ago I went on vacation and came back with the pencil stash. And prior to that vacation, I did a video on the watches I was going to take. I didn't end up taking the watches I thought I was going to. However, one of the watches that I took absolutely killed it during my vacation. Absolutely. And this was a watch that I was kind of shocked by when I first received it. Now I absolutely love it. I'm completely over the initial shock. This thing is a little tiny beast. So tonight I'll talk about the watches that I ended up bringing and why this particular watch did so well on vacation. So let us begin. All right, so here is the case that I took my watches in. It's leather with a cloth interior, four pouches in there, and you can just roll it up. And it has a strap here. And interestingly, I got this from Armida. Very cool. This will actually hold five watches because this will fit a lady's watch. So when I went to Vegas, I had four watches in here and my wife's watch was in here. But here are the watches that I ended up bringing with me. Most of them are asleep. I haven't worn them since the trip, but I took the Armida, of course. And there's still some lake water on there. We did a ton of swimming because it was very warm. So this got a bunch of rest time while I was there. Absolutely perfect for a vacation of swimming. Now in the video I did before I left for the trip, I got wrist shots of all of these. So in tonight's video, I'm just going to do a wrist shot of the rock star of the trip. I did end up taking the Everest and actually wore it quite a bit as well. Even when we were in the lake, it's not like we were diving or anything like that. Just floating for the most part or hanging out on paddle boards or yeah, just kind of soaking in the lake. And yeah, this piece is so cool. And like I mentioned in my previous video, it was nice having a reliable clasp. Yeah, I took the F77 and even swam with this piece on. And it got a pretty decent amount of rest time as well because I'm still obsessing over this piece. Absolutely brilliant design. And the braceleted watches were good because it was hot and sweaty. So even though I'm generally not a huge bracelet person, these were the best options for that trip. That's why I made sure I had two of them. Now here's where things get interesting because I did not bring the Serica. Instead, I opted for a full on dress watch. The Tudor. When I was packing up the other watches, this was on the shelf and uh, I couldn't not bring it. It's just such an amazing piece. So yeah, I ended up bringing the Tudor and wore it a couple times. Usually in the evening, around dinner time, or just hanging out on decks or whatever. All right, so what watch was an absolute rock star?
the Antarctic. Now, when I initially opened this watch, first saw it, I was in shock because look at all that bling on the dial. That was a lot more than I thought it would be in person. It was a lot. But I've been wearing it a ton since I got it. And the more I wear it, the more I absolutely love it. So this watch was a rock star because I wore this watch when we were packing, which is a brutal task. Definitely a job for a tool watch, but I feel like this watch is kind of a tool watch in disguise. It looks vintage and dressy, but it has sapphire crystal and more water resistance than you would expect from a dress watch. So I wore this while I was going up and down ladders, hauling down heavy objects, putting a trailer on the back of the car, boards on the roof, a rack on the roof, packing the car so full that I don't even know how we fit it all in there. Then unpacking it in the heat, sweating all over the leather strap. I wore it again when we packed up, got home and unpacked, and yeah, there's no marks on it. It was just a beast. But when you glance down at your wrist, it looks like you're wearing a dainty vintage watch. So it was just amazing because this watch truly feels like something that an explorer could wear. It looks brilliant and yet it's tough. So yeah, now I love it even more. There is still an issue I have with it and I'm going to be doing a full review of it soon and I'll point that out in that video, but yeah, I would absolutely recommend these watches. It's crazy how vintage they look and yet they're tough like a tool watch. There you have it, the watches that I ended up taking with me and the Antarctic. Amazing watch. Thanks for watching.